morning, it's Take Two Tales. I'm Miss Corinne and February is Black History Month. So I wanted to share with you a legendary story from black history, the folk tale, a Liberian folk tale called Koi and the Kola Nuts. Liberia is a country in West Africa and this book is by Verna Ardema with illustrations by Joel Sapita. This story Oh, it's one of my favorites. It's got adventure. It's got friendship. It's got love. Well, why am I telling you about the story? I'm just going to tell you the story. Let's go to the Shadow Puppet Theater. Come on. Once upon a time, in a small village, a rich man died. The village chief divided the man's belongings among his three oldest sons, but forgot about his youngest son, Koi, who had been out hunting. All that was left for Koi when he got home was a small cola tree. This is all that's left of my father's possessions? Fine, I will take every nut on the tree and I will seek my fortune elsewhere. So he stuffed his pockets full and he left. He walked for a very long time until he met a snake. <laughs> the snake was crying. What's wrong, friend? Koi asked. My mother is sick, and the only thing that will heal her is the medicine from a cola nut. That's perfect. I have a cola nut. Here, take it, and I hope your mother gets better soon. Thank you so much. I promise I'll return the favor. The snake and Koi parted ways. Koi kept walking long and far until he came across ants, a whole bunch of ants, and they were all very worried. Oh no, oh no, oh dear, we've stolen and eaten all of the cola nuts from the forest devil's basket, and if we don't replace them before he notices, he'll, oh, I don't even want to think about what he'll do to us. Hmm, how many cola nuts do you need? Koi asked. As many as the forest devil has fingers, said the ants. So that's six, right? No, 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 said Koi. The forest devil is a man. You need ten cola nuts, one for each finger. He gave the ants the cola nuts. Thank you so much, mister. We'll return the favor, we promise. They parted ways. Koi kept walking, walking and walking for a long time until he met a crocodile. Oh boy, I don't know what I'm going to do, said the crocodile. What's wrong? Koi asked. Oh, I, well, see, I ate the rainmaker's dog and he's just, he's going to zap me if I don't pay him back. Oh dear, that does sound bad. Well, what's the rainmaker's price? He wants a bag full of cola nuts. Cola nuts? Koi asked. Well, that's perfect. Just here, take the rest of the cola nuts that I have, and surely that will be enough to pay the rainmaker back. Wow, that's really nice, said the crocodile. I promise I'll return the favor. So Koi and the crocodile parted ways. Koi kept walking, and he walked a long time until he finally came upon a village. The village chief came out to meet him and said, Ho, oh, young man, you must be here to complete the three challenges. Three challenges? said Koi. Well, what's the prize? The prize is half of my kingdom and the hand of my daughter in marriage, should she decide that she wants to marry you, of course. I'll do it, said Koi. What's first? First, you must cut down this tree so that it falls away from the village. Well, the tree was leaning toward the village. You must do this before sunrise tomorrow. Um, okay. Well, Koi didn't know what he had gotten himself into. And as he was trying to figure out how to cut the tree down in such a way that it would not fall on the village, his old friend, the snake, came up. Hey, Koi, hey, I just wanted to say thank you because 
you your cola medicine worked and my mom feels so much better and she wanted me to tell you thank you thank you so much wow that's great news i i have a problem said koi i'm supposed to cut down this tree so that it falls away from the village but it's leaning toward the village i don't know what to do i'm not strong enough hmm i have an idea said the snake I'll go get my uncles, the pythons. So the snake slithered off and returned with his uncles, the pythons. They wrapped themselves around the trunk of the tree and they pulled and pulled and pulled until finally they pulled down the tree away from the village. Wow, thank you so much, said Koi. Well, I owed you a favor. The chief was impressed with what Koi had done. Your second challenge is to pick up all of the grains of rice I threw into this field, the chief said, a whole bag's worth. Well, Koi immediately got to work, but he could see that even if he worked all night long, he would never be able to pick up every single grain of rice. That's when his friends, the ants, came. Hey, man, can we help you out with anything? Oh, I'm so glad to see you guys. Can you help me pick up every single grain of rice in this field? Sure thing, Koi. We owe you a big favor. You saved us from the forest devil. So the ants worked all night, and they picked up every single grain of rice for Koi. Thank you so much, he said. Like we said. We owed you a favor. Once again, the village chief was impressed. Oh, ho, young man, I see you are clever and have good friends. But here, do you see that pond? I have thrown my ring into it. You must swim to the base of the pond and retrieve it before sunrise. Oh, oh, Koi didn't know how to swim. How am I going to get out of this one, he thought. As he sat by the pond thinking, his friend the crocodile came up. Oh, boy, crocodile, I'm so glad to see you. What can I do for you, Koi? I'd do anything for you after you save me from the rainmaker. The village chief has thrown his ring into the pond, and now it's at the muddy bottom, but I don't know how to swim. I'll get it for you. No problem for me. I'm a great swimmer. So the crocodile swam to the bottom of the pond and brought up the chief's ring for Koi. Thank you so much. Hey, I owed you a favor. Once again, the chief was impressed. Not only that Koi was so clever, but also that he had made such good friends. Young man, you may have half of my kingdom. And if she wishes to marry you, you may have the hand of my daughter in marriage. His daughter came running out. She had seen everything that Koi did, and she had fallen in love with him. So they got married, and they lived happily ever after. The end. I hope you enjoyed that story, and I hope you'll come check it out and other stories like it here at the library. I can't wait to see you next week with another Storytime Recap. Bye!